Hello everyone, my name is Sudeep and I'm going to present our work on multi-view fusion of sensor data for improved perception and prediction in autonomous driving. In any autonomous system, the motion planner needs to be aware of the current state, known as perception, and the future state, referred to as prediction. This is what a typical perception and prediction system looks like. Having such multiple disjoint modules, they suffer from challenges like information loss, compounding error, and high latency. To address these issues, end-to-end -end joint approaches are proposed, which yields far better results. These methods usually take LiDAR data as input. There are multiple ways to present this LiDAR data. Let's talk about some of these representations. Bird's eye view or BV is the most widely used one, obtained by projecting the points into top-down grid. This is a convenient representation for learning due to metric space consistency and straightforward fusion of historical data. However, due to discretization of points, it loses fine grain information necessary to detect smaller objects. Another alternative is range view or RV. Range view method operates in LIDAR's native dense representation, which is very helpful for detecting small objects. However, using historical LIDAR data in RV is challenging due to the distortions. That brings us to our proposal. In this work, we realize the strengths and the weaknesses of these representations, and we propose an efficient and generic fusion method that aggregates benefits from all the views. We choose to evaluate our proposed method on the state-of-the-art multi-xnet. First, let me introduce our baseline, multi-xnet. This network takes input of LiDAR data in BEV representation and rasterized HD map, and that fuses them generate detection and corresponding predictions. Now let's talk about our fusion method. First, range view representation of LiDAR data is processed through a set of convolutions, layers. In parallel, we process 2D camera image with set of convolution layers and wrap these features to range view similar to the LiDAR range view. These two feature maps are then concatenated together and passed through another set of shallow convolution layers and finally gets projected to BEV. This is what our final architecture looks like, which we referred as LiDAR camera multi-view or LCMV for short. We can see that core architecture marked in red is borrowed from multi-XNet, which is augmented with our fusion method. The final features from our fusion module are then concatenated with the BEV features processed from the LiDAR and raster map. These fused features are fed to multi-XNet backbone for detection and prediction tasks. Now let's explore how performance of our method compares to the baseline. We evaluate this method on our proprietary dataset ATG4D as well as new scenes public dataset with settings as shown in the table. In the first table, we see comparison of our method LCMV with the baseline. The detection performance measured by average precision is higher for all actor types with largest improvement at the longer ranges. The prediction performance measured by displacement error at three seconds has also improved, with the exception of bicyclists, which can be explained by smaller data sites resulting in more noisier numbers. In the next table, we see evaluation results performed on publicly available new scenes data. We compare with another fusion method, Confuse, and here also LCMV method shows better result with lower latency impact. Let us take a look at some of the interesting qualitative examples. We can see that baseline missed two vehicles in the front of the AV. However, LCMV managed to retrieve these vehicles despite such high level of occlusions. This is another example where the proposed model improves over the baseline. Here, baseline fails to detect both occluded far away vehicle and occluded pedestrian. LCMV, on the other hand, detects both the actors, leading to improved safety of AV and the surrounding actors. In conclusion, our LCMV method outperforms the state-of-the-art method with significant margin. Moreover, while we applied the proposed multi-view method to the multi-XNet, it is very general and directly applicable to other algorithms to improve performance. Thank you very much for listening.